Hi everyone, Boomer here and welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer. Uh, the last time round we were trying to uh, make a mess of everything basically and we're going to help out a woodcutter who desperately needs some millrith in order to uh, sort his sort his entire woodcutting business out which is being ruined basically due to the fact that excuse me due to the fact that uh, someone has put a magical enchantment on the trees which makes them immune to normal axes so wait we are just uh thing up here oh a uh, a venue hey let's head in i'd better knock Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. <laughs> Are you some sort of boggy person? Not a boggy persling. I is one and only swampling, the bestest cook in the land. People come for around miles to eat swamp stew. But it smells revolting. Let me out of here before I chuck up. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Typical 12-year-old Simon, though. It's your birthday. It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew, and I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being late, though. Everyone else is. I think your costume's really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. Poor Simon. And poor Swampling, actually. Right misfit pair of them, really. Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend! I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swampling to swampling for generations. Now I'm going to be particularly mean to Simon. What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe. Can't tell secret ingredients. Set one, swamp mud, very important ingredient. Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes Swamplin's cooking no more. I spend hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> If it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Goody! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. I love how uh, Simon reacts to the player sometimes. Goody! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> Pleasant. No one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friend. Please have mercy. <laughs> Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. Let's get it in the specimen jar. 
get the feeling that this is something like maybe biological warfare or something. I hope that jar had a top on it. I hope you like it. Plenty more of a friend. Please have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. Yes, Simon, you're going to have to Not keep Not again. I'm going to make you keep eating it. You finished? Oh no! I've run out of stew! I'm so sorry! I'll just go collect ingredients to make more! Now they thank God I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. Now there is actually if we move the chest here you can see that there is actually a trap door. And we can head down here, but there is a slight issue. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. So yes, yeah, Simon will Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Simon will not walk over there for the moment, so I'm afraid we just have to leave that. Uh, we have to leave that behind for the moment, and let's get out of here before the Swampling returns and gives us any more stew. Swampy's one of the recurring characters in the series. Okay, we're going to head back to the centre of the forest. We can actually use the map for this just to make it very, very slightly quicker. And now we are going to head this way. It's slightly different, I think, to the way we need to go. Head back past Dr. Von Jones. head down into the centre here because I don't think we've been this way yet. Keep going. You can always see if you're coming back on yourself constantly. Ah, uh, we're heading back past the... Uh, Heading back past the woodworm again. Because uh, we went this way last time, we're actually heading this way now past the woodworm. Looks like we're heading slightly out of the forest this way. More colourful part of town. Oh. What have we come across here? Who's that trip traffic over on my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the food. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. 
In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employees. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in this field. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Well, that's new. You've got no right to do this. I shall not, I shall not be moved. When was the last time a children's fictional story there went on industrial trolls, action? You know. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I really could do with some luscious grass. I shall not, I shall not be moved. See if we can talk. Okay, to you've made your point. I shall not, I shall not be moved. You've gone too far now. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Ahem. Look, can't you see I'm busy? Alright, I'll talk to the troll then. <laughs> That's only something that someone would, yeah. Oh, Excuse well, me, but you spelt rights wrong on your placard. You spelt rights wrong on your last sentence. How can he read that? Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. He can't get no satisfaction. And a fine bridge it is, too. I clean it every day, and no one shall cross it until I have satisfaction. What do you want? I told you, satisfaction, whatever that is. Might as well give him the dictionary definition. Satisfaction, noun. Satisfying or being satisfied in regard to desire or want or doubt. Eh? Hey. Yeah, that's my reaction as well. Satisfaction are small furry rodents with a nasty disposition. Eh? Hey. Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. You could do with some meat on your bones. I would have eaten those two by now if it wasn't for their big brother. He's a really tough old goat. If I lay a claw on them, or... You're scared of a billy goat. This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat billy. How would you like your goat? Stew would be nice. It's been ages since I had stewed goat. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Why don't you have a go and find out? Oh dear. They say curiosity killed the troll. But here goes. Huh, that did a lot. Now we're worried. Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Wahaha! <laughs> Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty-ho. Oh, you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? 
Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. I love how the barbarian just paintbrushes him and just slaps him constantly looking forward. Might as well pick up a black art. It ain't nailed down, I'm picking the damn thing up. It says equal rights for trolls on it. Interesting. I'm back into the forest again. an oath. He doesn't look very intelligent. Kind of not. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? Uh, not really. What beans? Magic beans. I've swapped them for a cow with a peddler. He said they were magic beans and would lead to fortune and glory. And? I planted them there, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there, then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. Now, I think it's the awful exit immediately here. So, in fact, if we look at the puddle. There are still some beans left in the puddle. And we can get some of them. And these beans are going to be useful because we're going to head back to Calypso's. Uh, we're going to head back to Calypso's. Just, I think this is the way back to Calypso's. I think it's this one. Yep, and you actually can walk behind the cottage. And behind the cottage is a really big compost heap. So, use beans on compost. Wow, this must be good compost. That was quick and we get a watermelon from it. Now, do you remember that guy with the sousaphone who's really irritating? Yeah, so do I. So we're gonna head back there. Let's head to the troll bridge. And, hmm. I'm trying to remember which way I need to go. I think it's back up here past where the goats came from. Indeed. Melon on Sousaphone. And watch the Americanization of this. 36, 24, 38. Oh, curses. It's broken. This is your lucky day. I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. And yet the sousaphone randomly fits in your hat as well. What what gives? There are this no rules. This magical map is used to speed around the game. There are no rules when it comes to that. So let's head back to the crossroads. Have I even been here yet? It's just appeared on my... You know, it's actually appeared on my map. But I'm not even sure I've been here yet. That's weird. 
probably have at some point. Oh, nice! Very nice little view here, isn't it? Now, you'll notice there are some vines here, and again, you wouldn't... Unless you were pixel hunting, which you often had to do in this game, you wouldn't have known it was there. So, let's use some vines. Who's this dude? Really? Really, that's this guy's name? Are we getting all this? Well, let's at least talk to the, uh, talk to this dude. Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let him hurt us, precious nice hobbits. Really? <laughs> Remember, this was before all the films, so I mean, come on, how much can you get away with? In fact, yeah, let's just come out with it. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry, it's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. So, why are you dressed up like a limpet? This is my Gollum costume. It's taken me ages to make it. What do you think? It's not really my style. I just hope it's what Tolkien envisioned when he thought up the character. Eh, it's not too bad, I don't think, for this time. You really worship him, don't you? And rightly so. He is the king. The king? Did he think up the fishing rod as well? No, it's just that it's my year on dinner duty. I haven't even had a bite yet. Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cave's not on the phone. Oh, right. What do you do at these meetings? We talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book. Hence the costume. Luckily, I happen to have some top quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. <laughs> See Will if this, this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. The ring of power, really? Let's see, boots. Probably a plastic sweet wrapper of some description. What the hell? <laughs> Is that the... Aha! Uh I wonder if this thing really works. Bloody hell! It does work! I'd better take it off before I wear it out. We have the Ring of Power in my possession. The Great Ring. It has strange symbols on it. Well, I'll leave that up to you as to what you think about that, but hey. Let's get out of here. I am very, very weirded out at this point. But hey, let's see what's in this direction. Have I already been in this direction? I've already been in this direction, I think. Yes, I've already been in this direction. That's where the things came from. Ah, so that's why the crossroads appeared. Right, so that means I haven't been this way. So let's head this way. I just clicked on the crossroads as if by, so I've always there, click on it. Huh. It's a shiny metal bell. Well, that didn't work, because uh, it's missing its clapper, which is pretty much the first thing that we picked up in this game. Remember, you're playing a 90s adventure game. Absolutely everything has a use. Everything. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. 
How did you know this one's a rescue? Ow! Who put the lights out? That's some heavy duty hair you've got going on there. How did you? How did he know that there was a that there was someone to rescue in this castle? Well, there usually is. Oh well. Uh, do I need to use the hair? Yes, I do to climb up. Standard reaction. What the hell do you want? You're not the wicked witch. Which wicked witch would that be? The wicked witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? You still look damn stunning to me. You have only seen half of it. My God! Everyone makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not, your savior is here. Wow, that's a new thing. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? And you stick her in your hat as well. It's like... Bet you didn't think that was the way that this was going to be resolved if you hadn't seen this before. But that's a rather interesting way to resolve this one. And with the uh, repulsor, really. I can't imagine what use I'll have for it. Well, I'm sure there will be plenty of uses for Repulsor as the game continues, but that will be a good place, uh, that's a good place to leave this video for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, this is Boomer, and I will see you next time.